Hey guys, it's Bill at Competition Car. So now we're going to do the driving video on this 1982 Chevy Citation X11 with 10,500 miles on it. Uh, we've had really bad weather. We've got a really quick, short break of uh, no rain right now. So we've got it pulled around and detailed out. We're going to uh, have you take a look at the paint and natural light. Also, I had all four um, bumper fillers refinished to match properly. And this one here in the back, if you look, some of the pictures, there was a crack right here. That's since been fixed. So the car is all sorted. It's clean. It's detailed. It's got new BFTs on it. So go around the outside in the natural light edge so you can see how nice the paint looks. Listen how throaty that thing sounds. Then we'll hop in and go for a, uh, for a quick test drive. I want to get it back in the lot before it starts raining. We got rain coming again. Yeah. All right, so 1982, X11, horn works, door locks work, wipers work. We're going to check the cruise, air is cold, radio works, buckets, console. All the gauges look like they're working right. It's running cool, volt meter's working right, oil pressure's good, gas gauge is right. And these cars, you know, they were basically known as uh, little throwaway cars back in the day. And there's a lot of talk about the quality of these cars and all that. But what you have to realize in the 80s, I mean, nothing that GM or Ford or Chrysler made were all that great as far as overall quality. Um, you know, I think it's a cool car. I think they did a great job with the suspension and the way the car sounds and looks. <clears throat> and uh, someone shared an article. They had an article of the uh, top 15 fastest cars in 1982. This car was in the number six position. So it only got beat out like the by the Corvette, the Camaro, I think 280ZX, uh, RX-7, and one or two other cars. Then it, it was, uh, it was uh, even though it was like sixth place, it still outran some of those cars handling wise, like on a, a track or in the slalom. So 10,528 miles. Air is blowing nice and cold. Let's check the cruise control. Let's turn it on and hit set. Cruise control works good. Paint across that hill. Look how nice that paint looks. Beautiful original paint. Interior looks new, smells new. Just a really nice car. sound to it. Accelerates nice and smoothly. Stops good. It's got disc brakes up front. Also, if you guys notice in uh, some of the original pictures when it had the original Eagle GT tires, which do come with the car. We took those off. We put these BFGs on. The original GT uh, Eagle GTs go with the car. We'll bag those. You'll also notice that some of the paint, painted the calipers and the, and the rear drums red. I put those back to the original color, which I assume to be black, so they look it looks much better with that tacky red caliper sticking out. So that's that's a little a bit more correct. Car is running, the temperature's running nice and cool. So I want to turn right here. I want to get back. There's a really nasty cloud to the left of us. I actually had some left some customers on a lot to finish up this video. So we'll turn around, go through the gears a little bit. And then um, wrap this up. And tomorrow is Wednesday. The next day or two, we're going to do the, I'll bring the car back inside the showroom. We'll do the walk around video of the inside and out so you can see just how nice this car really is. But I'll be quiet for this so you guys can hear how, not, how good this car sounds. Shift's fine. Good throaty sound to it. I think it's a cool car. Sport suspension on the dash, X11 on that side, X11 on here on the uh, the uh, steering wheel. Can't hit the brakes. It's smooth. There it is, guys. Check it out. If you have any questions, put them in the comment section.
car is up for sale right now on the bring a trailer and uh, we've got a few days left let's get some love any comments or want to add to the uh, comment section feel free thanks guys and good luck bid